Hello loves, it's Hills from the Blue Flame Apothecary. So, in the last energy update where we talked about Persephone and Lilith, at the end, I mentioned that Arcturus and Vega are also very active on this amazingly powerful full moon that is actually going to peak in about 10 minutes. <laughs> from the time that I'm recording this and that it felt like they had a message it feels like they have a message <laughs> I'm gonna go into just a little bit of the aspects the angles and everything that these two stellar dimensions are are making so we can start to kind of move into the message that they're bringing from there. That's what feels like it's gonna serve the most right now. So we'll start with Arcturus because we've talked, I've, I've channeled quite a bit with regard to Arcturus uh, over, over the last couple of months on the channel. And there's lots of resources to kind of tune in. I'll put, I'll put some links as well for that. one of the one of the places the the dimensions that Arcturus holds is as the way station and kind of that place where you go where where our light meets and we kind of get our next, mm, oh, these words are hard, where we determine what our next path will be, what our next journey will be so that we can continue to grow and expand our light. Currently, Arcturus Arcturus has been in a square with, or a trine, I'm sorry, a, a beautiful trine with the Lord of Karma, Saturn, all year. And will continue to be so uh, over the next year or two. Um, it's very tight right now. And so as Saturn moves retrograde and then back again, this, this is going to, we're, it's interesting, right? Because Saturn has been also in a really intense square with Uranus, kind of how are we breaking down our old structures to bring in the new? And Uranus is also extremely loud on this full moon. And the square is going to be getting tighter as we move towards October. Ooh, there's a lot here. There's so much going on right now. It's amazing. Hey, you live in interesting times, and we definitely do. This this trine has been going on, like I said, for a while now, and it's it's really highlighting because this is an air trine. It's the way we think, and it's highlighting changing the way in which we think. And Venus has joined the party, and. Venus is in a very, very tight trine, making this a grand air trine. Divine love. Bringing that which you love into being through thinking through love is one way we could go into this. Changing karmic patterns through love and compassion is another thing that this brings in. Mm. It's really, really yummy energy, especially if you if you like mind food and you you enjoy exploring your mental realm, your mental body, and trying to rewire and really explore the way you think and how that influences what you see in the world, what you experience in the world, in your life. I could go down this 
path for a long time. It's very, 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 very powerful. And this is, this is happening right now. Venus is literally traversing this trine at this moment. And so over this week and, and moving into the new moon, it's going to get looser and looser, but we have a really nice window right now to explore the way in which we think and to explore it with love. Now, Vega is sitting close to the moon and Pluto. None of these conjunctions are super tight, the moon and Pluto, the moon and Vega, but the moon is so fucking big right now that it's able to kind of expand its range of influence. So even though there's more, you know, mathematical degrees separating Vega and the moon or separating the moon and Pluto than would normally be talked about astrologically. Normally it would just be like, okay, well, they're close, but you know, they're not close, but no cigar, close, but no cigar. But this moon is so big that it's pulling in these energies. And because it's sitting right in between the two, this underworld energy and this kind of higher mind energy that Vega represents, Vega has Mercury-like energy. And interestingly, Vega is almost exactly across from Mercury right now. So it, it feels like, you know, that moderator that I talked about Mercury being in the last update, that there is this energy, this song, it's Vega Lyra, so let's make it a song, right? This song, you know, Mercury's over here negotiating between Persephone and Hades, the moon and the sun, and Vega's over here and the harp's playing and singing a song, a romance, a beautiful lullaby to say, let these golden cords be mended. Let all those cords and all of those places that felt separate start to come back together. That you start to remember that you are whole. That you are not separate. <laughs> that your Persephone and your Hades are both yours. They are aspects of you. They are aspects of the divine. There is <laughs> the way that it's being brought in now that Arcturus and Vega want to play. There's other aspects that are hitting these two as well. You know, Vega is very closely trying to Uranus, which is square. To <laughs> There's a whole lot going on, but we don't need to go there because this energy is building. And where we're going to go into it is through color through alchemy of color, that light, through the orange shift of Arcturus and the blue shift of Vega. It's blue, like your heart chakra, the deepest chamber, like your throat chakra, your causal, connecting your heart and your words to your mind, your higher mind, up, 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 up to your higher self, your soul star, mm. and your orange and red connecting you 
to your sacral chakra and your sacrum, your root chakra, helping you to anchor these new codes of love, these new ways of being and seeing and speaking in the world, helping you to birth them. Got that sacral chakra energy, right? Mm -hmm. What would you like to create with this love? With this remembering of your wholeness? Mm. What song would you like to sing? we practiced stillness in our last update. Let us continue to practice stillness and not through leaving to moving up and out but through moving deeper and deeper in into the heart down through your solar plexus into your sacral and sacrum areas feeling your tailbone growing like a root down into the earth as your heart expands with that blue light of Vega of love blue with an aura of white around it As the orange moves down from your sacral through that root into the earth and then they begin to overlap one another at your solar plexus the blue rimmed with white and the orange rimmed with gold as they begin to merge you begin to feel your unique power. The power of your voice through love and your ability to create through love that world which you most desire. play with these frequencies, these colors, however you feel called to. There is some real beautiful, compassionate, joyous love energy with this full moon. There is heaviness. But that's the, that's the way in. It's like that Rumi quote. The wound is where the light enters. The wound is where the light enters. So one way in which you can play with this blue rimmed with white light and this orange rimmed with gold light is allowing them to meet together and find, <laughs> search out those deepest wounds and flow there. Bring that light, that big, big light of the full moon down into that space.
There's a lot of Neptune energy. Neptune is dancing with Isis right now. Mm. Dreaming and building dreams through love. <laughs> oh. However you choose to explore, it's such an honor to join you on any part of your journey that I'm welcomed into. Continue to breathe and allow these beautiful energies to flow. When you're ready to move on with your day, it's amazing and do that. If you enjoyed this meditation and this activation, <laughs> please like the video. Let me know in the comments how it felt and you know any anything that you want to share there. It would be beautiful to witness you and share love with you. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and like this video. Ring the bell, and if you're called to it, uh, there's the Blue Flame Members Portal and one-on-one -on -one sessions, yeah. Lunar Cycle updates. I'll put links to all of that below. I'm so yummied up right now from all that light and all these amazing stellar frequencies. want to sit here with you for a minute. Thank you. Thank you. As always, in all ways, so much and many loves to you from all the dimensions.